today's video is about not building the models but uh, or painting them just uh, reference material i use for some of the navy stuff that i do and i find that some books are really excellent at giving you information that you might need so this is yeah sorry if this is a bit boring but this is just some of the reference material i use and the first one we'll look at is jane's fighting ships of world war ii it's a, a brilliant book and if you can grab yourself a copy or, or borrow it from the library but it's a it's a brilliant brilliant read and really worth having a look at um, the next one is world war ii losses warship losses of world war ii that's an excellent book and gives you all the information you need about ships that were sunk during the war if you want to put that on your labels or something the year it was sunk and when it where it was sunk that book's brilliant for that sort of information um when all my books fall over battleships and battle cruisers of the japanese navy that's a really good book some really good pictures uh, a lot of black and white pictures but you do get some good ideas about the ships and, and a bit of knowledge too from that one it's really good so sydney if any of those light cruisers it's got some really good colored photos in it and drawings and it's it's excellent excellent guide the german navy in world war ii it's another really good reference book that I use to get information, I've put extra information on those um, cards. It's a really good book. Uh, Pictorial History of the German Navy in World War II. That's another really good book. And because it has a lot of pictures in it, you get a, a good idea on what the ships look like, if they're really dark in colour. Even though black and white photos, you can still tell whether the, the greys are real dark grey or light grey. Really, really good book. The Lost Ships of Guadalcanal, another really good reference book. And, and these books I've bought over time, but uh, a lot of come from secondhand shops. I didn't buy them all brand new, but that's really good and got some really good colour drawings in there for uh, reference on, on painting decks and guns and uh, stacks, things like that. Battleships, I like Battleships of World War II, another really good book. Or, um, Referencing information. Uh, Naval Warfare in the English Channel. So some of these books are good for scenario building. If you're going to play a war game with naval ships, I find that these books really help with historical ideas in uh, war gaming. They're really, really good. Battle of the River Plate which is just a book, no pictures, but still that scenario building stuff if you're going to do ships and then decide to play a war game with them. Excellent, excellent. Australian New Zealand warships. So there's not heaps out there about Australian New Zealand warships, so that's a really good book, really good reference guide for the Australian stuff. Naval Battles of World War II. And a lot of these books include the smaller battles you don't hear so much about. So they are really good, really good reference material. Again, for that wargaming sort of scenario building, they're really good. British uh, Warships, another really good book. And uh, some of these, yeah, secondhand and pretty old that I've picked up on my travels. The Battleships is another good book, and that has a lot of colour drawings in it, uh, which are which are good reference, good referencing uh, for painting. They're excellent. Uh, this one, U.S. Sorry about that. U.S. Battleships is a really good book, and it's just all engineering drawings. It's just more general information, but um, that's just some of the books I have for Navy navy historical stuff thanks for watching